Yeah, what do I think about animal-human hybrids? Well, we're not making them. And, and whatever the press would say, we're not making animal-human hybrids in the sense that, for example, scientists in Cambridge some years ago made hybrids between sheep and goats. We're, not, we're simply not doing that. What the stem cell community have been given permission to do is to take an egg cell from another mammal. Uh, and I think one group are using cows, another group are using rabbits. And to remove the genetic material. So it's like we're starting a cloning experiment, and in a sense we are. Uh, and then replacing the genetic material with the DNA, the genes, from an adult human. So you're starting a clone here, not with a human egg, but with uh, an egg from a cow or a rabbit. But the genetic material is mostly from a human. It's in fact uh, all but 20 genes will come from a human. There are 20 genes that will remain in the, in the cow or rabbit egg for reasons we don't need to explain. But there are 20 genes that won't be removed when we take the main part of the DNA out. And the idea of doing this was that we can start that embryo off down the normal pathway and get it to the stage where we can use it to extract embryonic stem cells. And that's really what it's all about. That uh, It's been thought that if we make embryonic stem cells, which is a whole uh, topic of itself, um, we will be able to one day use those cells to repair uh, people who've, whose tissues and organs have been damaged by disease or trauma or whatever, or maybe simply by old age. Uh, and it had been further thought that if actually we cloned somebody but only took them to the embryo stage, then the stem cells we made to repair them wouldn't be rejected. And so the scientists had asked permission to say, well, since there's a shortage of eggs for this research, quite rightly we don't want to ask hundreds of women to donate eggs for this. We want to do the early experiments on this clonal route to stem cell generation with these emptied mammalian eggs. And that'll avoid the need to keep asking women to donate, which is not an easy procedure. So that's, that's what the papers meant when they talked about human-animal hybrids. They, they simply meant the use of a, a shell plus 20 genes and human DNA. Now, I don't call that a hybrid. Uh, it's not 100% human, I would grant you that. And, and for reasons of genetic danger, I wouldn't want to see those stem cells actually used in therapy. I think if we can develop the technology this way, then I think that's great. But to actually use them in therapy, I think, carries unknown dangers.